The Port of Tilbury is due to get a new £20 million state-of-the-art temperature-controlled distribution centre before the end of 2015. Owners, Fourth Ports, say that the project is in partnership with NFT Distribution, the UK's market leader in chilled food distribution. The centre will be one of the largest refrigerated quayside facilities in Europe and will benefit from the latest distribution technology systems. Fourth Ports say that the centre is expected to create 500 new jobs. The 230,000 square foot building, which will be located within the Port Estate adjacent to Tilbury's London Container Terminal, handling over half a million containers each year. It will have the capacity to take 25,000 pallets and be able to handle more than 2.5 million cases of product every week. Port of Tilbury says that as one of the largest reefer facilities in Europe, with over 1,400 reefer points and on-site examination facilities for customs clearance, London Container Terminal will provide a strong match for NFT's modern system-controlled chilled facility. LCT currently deals with a mix of global deep sea, European feedering and short sea links, which already carry a wide variety of chilled goods through the terminal. Charles Hammond, Group Chief Executive of Fourth Ports, owners of the Port of Tilbury, said that they're delighted to be building further on their already well-established reputation for the receipt and handling of fresh produce. He added, ports are a key part of an efficient supply chain, and with the additional land assets available, it makes sense, both financially and from a customer service point of view, for businesses to use the port not only as an import-export service, but also as a logistics hub. NFT operates out of seven UK system-controlled warehouse bases, providing national distribution capability to every UK retailer every day. With 450 satellite tracked articulated vehicles delivering over 130,000 pallets of groceries each week and handling over 11 billion pounds worth of food products every year. We'll bring you more on UK ports and UK logistics when we have it.